Hi guys, welcome to Eyes Closed with Stan Atlantic. Hello. What's up? Hi. Cool. So I wanted to ask you guys, obviously you've been talking about the Sidewinder loads. So I want to get a more general kind of um, response from you guys about what's your kind of gateway heavy band that like got you into the kind of music that you're making now and that you listen to right now? Um, that's a good question. I think uh, for me personally, if, if you're going like heavy, uh, I got really into like Parkway Drive and Bring Me the Horizon like back in the day when I had a fringe and um, <laughs> and yeah I think that kind of started me off pretty well but um, the stuff that kind of got me into like pop punk pop punk was probably like story so far like that kind of thing knuckle puck and yeah but yeah I think I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure everybody in Australia who plays an instrument was like Parkway Drive <laughs> at some oh, point man, just because no. that yeah. was like my high school music class was like what Parkway Drive cover are we playing today boys <laughs> <laughs> mine was a day to remember I uh, I didn't get into Parkway as much as everyone else did I, I was sort of like the, no, the non-norm I guess but um, yeah, Day to Remember was for me. And then there was an Australian band called Hand of Mercy. All right, um, so obviously, since uh, Sidewinder came out, everyone's bugging you, like, oh, when's the album coming? Well, like, you're probably <laughs> sick of the question. I mean, like, of course, I'm wondering the same thing, but I, I know that you are always writing, um, yeah. but you're always t- touring as well. So like, yeah. are, you, are you thinking about maybe really kind of taking, taking a little pause and focus solely on writing uh, anytime soon? Um, we had the time uh like this early this year to kind of buckle down and start writing so we did that um i can't give anything else away but we'll definitely have new music out this year which is cool but um as far as writing from now on like we don't really have the time for the rest of the year but luckily the majority of the writing that we needed to do is done (laughs) sweet Um, all right yeah right so off of sidewinder um which song are you the proudest of in terms of instrumentals? Hmm. Good question. Um, really I, I like I'm Coffee at Midnight just because it has punk beats and I try and put punk beats in literally everything I do. <laughs> every demo is just like, yeah, this one's just punk beats for like every section. It's really cool. Yeah. This one's different. It's got a blast beat and then a punk beat. <laughs> um, I'd say the same, I think, even though I still can't sing over a punk beat, but whatever. I'd agree with coffee but i'd also say sidewinder just because like there's a couple of cool drum parts in their verse which i like playing so lyrically so, what song are you the proudest of yeah, uh off um, of sidewinder Fuck. sorry for putting you on the spot i think chemicals oh. only because um that was one where i like really just pushed myself to like i'd had all these lyrics written and then um our producer was just kind of like can you rewrite them and i was like oh okay (laughs) and so I was just like in the room for like a couple little while and then I just like wrote all the lyrics and then I was really happy because I like just pushed myself to write about something different and yeah so I think personally that's it any any input I don't even know what half our lyrics are about so I'm the worst person to ask this question (laughs) I'd probably just go go with chemicals I like the message behind it oh sick thanks bro Thanks for the backup. Stop to announce. Um, and so um, this can e- either be musically or just just on a personal level. What mm-hmm. kind of um, what quality do you think that each each of the band members brings to the table? Like, say something good. nice about each other. Okay, yeah. Potter is really good with like music theory because I know f all uh, i'm just like this sounds cool and then potter's like it doesn't work so yeah potter's like just really good at like theory that kind of thing and like gives us a little bit of like pizzazz in like some instrumentation and stuff like that yeah. um jono a good guy um <laughs> all around good guy uh, jono jono i think brings us down to earth sometimes because like he like he's a serious one he's like the dad i guess would you say the same i think you kind of are what are you gonna say business skills but yeah, yeah that's daddy say, f yeah definitely yeah. the band daddy yeah yeah band daddy yeah, yeah. Cool. and then bond just actually writes all our songs <laughs> so that's probably what <laughs> wouldn't be a band without us so good, good to have Appreciate good to have, a yeah. <laughs> have someone who can actually write music Sweet. Yeah, you're welcome yeah, <laughs> yeah. all yeah. right all right so you're gonna- a really diverse group which yeah. is great yeah. great to have um so i heard that you'd consider moving to um to the u.s or europe so like yeah. out of the countries that that you've toured so far yeah 
if someone was like, you're moving to this country, here's your one-way ticket, uh, what would you pick? I know what he's going to say. I know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Slovakia, because last time we went to Slovakia, it was just like the funnest, loosest place we've ever been. You get these like one litre steins of beer for like two euro, and it's just like how that like entire country is just not like on a like a year long bender is i don't know but <laughs> um like, not to mention the fact that it's like 14 percent alcohol as well so it just gets you hammered straight away it's just so cheap there it's like yeah. coming from sydney where it's like you go to frankie's and it's like that's 17 dollars for that beer you're like oh really <laughs> it is super, it is super cheap yeah, yeah. it's mind-blowing I'd say the UK somewhere, like Manchester or London. I really like like these places, so, yeah. yeah. Probably Eastbourne for me. Like, we... Eastbourne? Eastbourne. Oh. We stayed there with the Rome guys for a week before we started tour, and it was just... You didn't feel like you are in the UK, like the sun was out. Was so you want to move to the UK because it doesn't feel like you live in the UK. You want to move to like the Australian, the like, place in the UK. <laughs> I just like the vibe as well, but yeah. You know. Fair enough. Yeah, it was chill there. If we had to move anywhere, that, that's where I'd move. Yeah. Out of all places, all right. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. Yeah. Also, the movie Angus Fong's and Perfect Snogging <laughs> was filmed in Eastbourne, so that's a very I important know. reason. Yeah. Very important thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, truly. Or, I mean, yeah, that, I, I mean, yeah, I got nothing. That's the prime argument yep, right there. there you go. Uh, so you guys spend a lot of time together, obviously. On the road and probably off as well. So who's the worst with directions? Me, I'll take the cake yeah, for that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah pretty Do you bad. Ever get someone lost or? I, uh, I just no. The thing is, I can't go anywhere alone, so I just rely too much on everyone else. I'm too codependent. I just don't pay any attention, and I let everyone else do it. So therefore, I don't know where I am ever. I'm just kind of like tagging along. I would take the cake on that one as well, though. As well, I suck at directions. Really? So like, I, I could be somewhere in the city, and someone will message me being like, "Where are you?" And I'll be like. I'll try to explain. Bro, I don't know. I'll try to explain to them where I am, but in the end, I'll have to go find them because they just can't find me. Actually, yeah. just before this interview, we we literally there was a restaurant <laughs> just across the road that we walked for about four kilometers until we found. So I think we're all pretty bad. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. yeah. I take that back. I just realized I got us home the other night. Yeah. Yeah. Well that, that was the first one. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm the worst then. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay the one, two, oh, one, two, three. Yeah. 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 One, yeah. yeah. Sick. Cool. Um, <laughs> who's who's most likely to get others into trouble? Into trouble? Yeah. Potter. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Because he leaves his phone and crap everywhere oh. and loses it and then we can't find him. So and then he yells at us for not finding him. And for then leaving me overnight <laughs> at a music festival without a tent or anywhere to sleep while it was raining. Is this true? Oh yeah. Yeah. This is 100% your fault though. Yeah. 100% oh, on record. I can give you the story, a quick version. Basically, so uh, there's a festival in Australia called Unify and it's just this big dirty festival. It's really sick. And and we were all there and Potter, as soon as we get there, he's like, all right, I'm going to go mosh to whatever it was. Four years strong. Four years strong and gives us his bag. But his bag had his phone, wallet, literally everything in there. And then the whole day and night we couldn't find him and there's no reception there anyway. So it's just like, what the fuck? And we literally stood in one spot the whole time just so we'd see him. We saw his ex-girlfriend more than we saw him, which is stupid. Anyway, yeah. And then we waited at the van after the headliner band finished and we were like, let's wait like half an hour see if he comes out he didn't come out we were like okay we'll just go to the accommodation at least we'll have service there got to the accommodation no service and we're just like rip potter sorry and then we come back to the festival the next morning and he's got this random person's cardigan he looks like a mess and he was like i've been walking around all night i couldn't find you it was so bad, bad. yeah we I'm all so felt bad was, but it yes. was his fault to be it fair was, yeah i Take part of the blame. I feel like all of it. We sh you should have waited longer for me because I did make my way back to the van. The van had just gone though. Because you have the best sense of orientation. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. I'd also like to put on record for that though that in his bag he had his phone, charger, and wallet, but no cord, and his phone was dead. So either way, he would have been screwed. Yeah. My God, it's like wor it's like worse Waldo. He's a bad guy. Worse Potter. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That is I'm, me. <laughs> that sounds traumatic, man. I'm not gonna lie. Yep. That's worse than like being left at a gas station. Like, just yeah, pretty yeah. much. He had to just walk around all night. Yeah. Yep. And then like luckily, I just like in this like 
festival with like 10,000 people. We, I just managed to find someone that we were that like I mutually knew and was like, help me, please. I'm lost. You need to help me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to die out here. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. That's like survival yeah. yep. story. Yeah. Hardcore. Yeah. Okay. Moving on to the second to last question. Um, I know that you like watched the German version of Mean Girls or something. Uh, <laughs> yes. so, um, mean Girls flying around your, your van and Twitter. And Twitter. I should not try it. Girls Club. 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 I mean, by, by now, I assume you know the movie. Four for you, Glenn Coco. You go, Glenn Coco is a good one. Classic. Basic. I'm going to go with your mum's chest hair. I think that's good. <laughs> Actually, no, say crack again, crack. <laughs> None for you, Gretchen Wieners. Bye. Yep. Nice. Say nice. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Sweet. And last uh, question. Do you want to plug any of your Australian friends' bands or any Australian artists? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, undercast. Good boys. Between You and Me, just released a new song, album comes out soon. I think. Uh, the Dead Love. Yeah. The Boys. The Boys. Who else is there? There's a heaps of cool things. Yeah, there's a lot cool going things. on into it in Australia. <laughs> yeah, we've got, we've got a cool little scene there. Sweet. So, yeah. All right, well, yeah. be sure to check them out. Sick. Um, have an amazing show tonight. Thank I'm you so much. Super stoked. Cool. London. It's hot. It's humid. Yeah, um, that's my hair's going to be a frizz ball. It's going to be bad. <laughs> Same. All right. Thanks, guys, so much for your time. No worries. Thank Super you. Super nice so to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.